What's happening in Germany is very interesting. It's very good to understand why growth was so good compared to other European countries the last 10 years and why the slowdown now is so rapid because it is much more rapid than in the other European countries. So I think it's quite clear why they did well um, for quite a long period. Um, competitiveness was good. Um, there were reforms 10 years ago. Germany as an open economy, more open than France, for instance, benefited as long as world trade was doing well. And then importantly, um, Germany managed to really drive up um, developments in the labor market. Participation rate, employment rate um, today is 10 to 15 percent higher than in several other large European economies. Um, it's almost 20 percentage points higher than in Italy, the employment rate, and almost 10 percentage points higher than in France. Why that happened, this um, contributed very strongly to growth, and unemployment rate fell significantly to the lowest number in 50 years. But it also means one cannot go much further where other European countries have room to catch up. Um, Germany has reached a level, and that's then also reflected in the GDP level. But it cannot do much more of that type, um, and therefore growth is coming down. And as an open economy, they also are hurt more than others by the trade wars. So um, it's a very special and very interesting situation in Germany. And then there's the fiscal surplus and the current account surplus. And I would also say um, there's an investment gap that also contributed um, to lower growth now. Um, there are things to be done, um, but it's something where if it happens, the rest of the world should not expect that it will rescue them. Um, Germany is a big economy, but not that big. When we came out of the last financial crisis, I remember speaking to you and others who said that we must never have another financial crisis where we don't have the tools to tackle the risks and consequences. And there were great commitments made to further integration in the Eurozone, and you've been a part of that story. But where is the Eurozone bond? Where is the banking union? Where is the deposit protection scheme that was promised? And so on and so on and so on. The pace of change in Europe has been glacial. We go into a new crisis, don't we, potentially, with our pants round our ankles? Um, I think the situation is not that bad. We are not heading into a crisis like 10 years ago. Nobody is arguing that. Sometimes reading the media, it sounds like we are heading back to what happened 10 years ago. It's not the case. We don't even have stagnation, as you earlier um, thought. Um, we have growth at potential. Um, but there are risks, so we have to be careful. And we know in our economic system there will be crises from time to time. We must do everything to try to prevent it, but it happens um, and always comes from a different corner. So we should not assume that there will never be another crisis, despite all the efforts. And the efforts have been strong. A lot has happened um, on banking regulation, for instance. We do have 80% um, of the banking union in place. And one important puzzle um, will be the backstop that the ESM will provide to the single resolution fund. Um, that's one element how we develop the ESM further. What's missing is indeed the European Deposit Insurance Scheme. Um, but most politicians agree that it should happen one day. The arguments are over the preconditions that need to be in place to, to make it possible. And that's okay. I have no problem with that, as long as it's clear that at the end of the process it will come. The ESM is being developed. We are amending the ESM treaty to give the ESM additional um, mandates um, to be more active um, during peaceful times, but then play clearly a stronger role in future crisis programs, which may not happen for a long time, but when they happen in the future, the ESM will be in charge together with the European Commission mm -hmm. to um, design, negotiate and monitor an adjustment program. We had not that mandate in the past. Um, so things are happening. It may be a bit in the background because we are not in a crisis, which is good. Not being in a crisis also means things move a bit slower. Um, we also demonstrated, I think, over the last 10 years, when there is a crisis, we can move much faster. So I have no problem that now it's a bit slower, um, but work is ongoing. It's not in the headlines. What is also missing um, is the fiscal capacity for macroeconomic stabilization. Um, but these are the final elements. Otherwise, we have achieved a lot. The euro area today is less vulnerable and more resilient than 10 years ago. And that's a big achievement.
Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.